you know, some hikes, taking in the sights, went to a few nice restaurants, uh, played some touch. All good. Trying to work. Hope so. What's been the focus? Uh, I mean, Sydney posed some very specific challenges. Um, certain covers, style of play, very specific. Those things, mainly. You got, I think, over 20 points on you last time you guys played. What have you guys, you know, how do you reflect on that game getting into this one? It's a very unique game. Um, don't think this is kind of the tail of the tape when these two teams meet. We were on the back end of a back-to-back, -back, a very challenging one. They came in and played an incredible game from their standpoint. Shot 60% from three in the first half, broke it completely open. Um, they showed us some of the things that they do, and there's things to look at and study and do better, but that game doesn't dictate anything. Now that you're in this postseason, um, has the energy around the team built even more? It's quite an exciting time to be here. Yeah. And we've been in preseason, and sorry, in postseason mode for a very long time. Um, it's been over six weeks where we've been in a situation where every game matters to us. So we're kind of riding the same wave, uh, which is great. The energy's never dipped. Level of commitment, level of focus is incredible. Uh, practice has been really fun. So I feel we're in a good place coming through. And um, how's Wales? It was okay. Um, hard to say 100%, but we'll know some. What was it? Was it an actual dislocation of the shoulder or was it? I'm not a doctor. I'm <laughs> a shoulder injury? Yeah. Some description. And Finn? Finn's actually doing better. Uh, the back spasm, he's, he's practiced fully, expecting a great thing. Having, having been in playoff mode for a while, how do you get them up for a game that is actually like a sudden death playoff? All our games have been sudden death, and they've been up for all of them. So nothing changed from this regard. We just continue with the same stuff. Modi, your challenges on the road this year, do you see this one being different? I, a lot of your road Games have been at the back end of a weekend, kind of double off a game and travel and everything. Our yeah, record home in the way is fairly similar, and if you take out the, what you just said about the back to backs, it's, almost, it's equal. Um, I like the challenge. Kudos is a great place to play. Um, a lot of fans, loud, it's a nice environment. We're looking forward to it. I know you played it down at the League Awards, but do you, do you owe them one? You know, is there a little bit of kind of extra motivation? I mean, you know me, I don't really play things now. I kind of say it how it is. The reality is that whoever we would face now, I would want to beat the living you-know-what out of them. It doesn't matter if it's an NBL, it could be the Otago Nuggets. It doesn't matter. Um, did the fact that we lost game five of the finals over there gives us extra motivation? No, it doesn't. Because we are chasing something that's relevant only to this year. And the only thing that's relevant to the past is the lessons learned. So as long as we drew the conclusions and learned the right things and hopefully they come into play and help us in this one, it's the only thing that matters. We've um, spoken before about how my state arena has got post-traumatic stress because of just what the team did in Hobart. With the team being seven minutes away from winning the championship last season, do you have a bit of PSD about kudos, despite the fact that we actually have a very successful record there? No, so exactly what I just told Mike. Absolutely not. Can you compare that finals team, that semi finals team last year to this year at all? Or I mean, you talked about the motions you've got to prepare for this In what way? Uh, in terms of game play style, game plan. I mean, we're a very different team, we're very different people. But you can definitely see within the organization and the guys that were here last year that they've accumulated this experience. It's under their belt. They feel more composed to me coming into the, coming into the playoffs than they did last year. For a lot of our guys, it was the first time. For guys like Will, for example, you can see that he's been here before. I think it's a big learning curve. In that first game of the championship series last year, no one gave the breakers a hope, and yet they go out and win the first game. Is that the... What can we draw on from that, that it's essentially a lot of people will be writing off the breakers again, but this is history repeating itself. No one expects the breakers to go. I mean, they're right. Sydney are definitely the favourites. Um, they have the higher seed on purpose. It's not, it's not by accident. They've earned this. They're the most talented offensive team in the league, they have the opportunity, the ability to explode in every game. People are right to write us off. So why, why did the Breakers do so well in that first game last year? When, what was it that gave, the, did Sydney overcompensate or did the Breakers were out? No, last? we got lucky. Do you, if Will and Finn are okay to go, do you have enough firepower to beat this team? Sure, also without Finn and Will. 
given that the playoffs is a bit of a different scenario this year with this sudden death game and then beyond matches, do you sort of look beyond the sudden death game or is it that you're purely focusing on what happens on Wednesday or do you look to, in terms of personnel even, in terms of what so, you need to hold on to? So when you go into this part of the season, if you really need to change things about how you prepare and how you play and how you go about your business and what you focus on, you're going to get lost. You're supposed to use the entire season to build habits that serve you in the playoffs. If your in-season habits are not good enough, then you're not going to be able to flip a switch and then make magic now. So the same approach that we've had for game one, game 15, game 28, is the same approach for a sudden death. Play every possession to the best of your ability and move on to the next one really fast. If you could pick one thing aspect of your game you need to do well against the Kings, what is it? I mean, there's two and they're very connected to each other. It's transition defense and the battle on the glass. Uh, those are simple things but not easy to do. They are exceptional, pushing the pace, and they're very good on the offensive glass, and we need to win both those battles. PJC Park has carried a lot of weight for you guys, just with all the injuries and everything else. Um, you happy putting that load on his shoulders and has he got one more big one? He's got a lot more big ones in him. Yeah.